guys and welcome back to Hey It's A Good Life. I'm so glad you're here because it's been a while since we've been here at the house. I've showed you so many travel vlogs, so many vlogs about meeting up with other YouTubers, so many vlogs about plants, but it's time to show you guys an update on our house. And I wanna invite you guys behind the scenes of what kind of updates we're making as renters. So join me today for a little bit of a tour and I wanna show you guys some of the things that we're doing around here to make it feel a little bit more like home. Wah, 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 it's raining again for like the fifth day in a row. I'm very much ready for it to be summer. So first off, I got these awesome bougainvillea plants. Aren't they so cute? I got them on sale. I think they were actually mismarked. They were just $10 and I'm gonna make a little arbor trellis archway right here at our entryway. At least that's the plan for now. Also on the agenda today is build the garden bed that's gonna go right here. So hi. Oh, so sad. <laughs> Don't eat my tomatoes. Do not eat my tomatoes. We have this little alcove over here and what I'd like to do is put an herb garden there. So I actually have some spare materials left over from the garden bed build. And what I'd like to do is repurpose those materials to make, what do you know, more garden beds. Also, I need to update you guys on the lemon tree. There. So the cats are very jealous that I'm outside right now and they are not. <laughs> That's okay, they're gonna have to deal with it. So in my absence, while I was traveling, we had some really bad wind. I don't know if it qualifies as a wind storm, but let me tell you, it was bad. And it actually knocked off a lot of our blossoms on the lemon tree. So after bringing this thing back to life, seeing all of those thousands of blossoms, and then to come home to basically all of them being knocked off, you could say was a little disheartening. But I'm holding out hope that with some more fertilizer, we might be able to get a second bloom. Um, I don't know if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. I'm very new to caring for citrus. So uh, let me know if you guys have any recommendations, but yeah, low key, the update on the lemon tree is that there are not a lot of lemons and most of the blossoms got knocked off by a windstorm. So we'll see what we get. What is in bloom and smelling absolutely wonderful is jasmine. And you guys. This is seriously one of my favorite smells on the whole planet. So I'm really excited for when it's warm again outside and that smell just wafts into the house. It's gonna be so lovely. Do your animals act like they're so neglected? Like they got so much outside time earlier, done all of the things and he's just, so whiny, poor little fur child. So now I wanna take you guys inside to show you some of the projects that I'm really excited about. So welcome to the guest bathroom, also known as my bathroom. The bathrooms in this house are so tiny and Tommy and I being such big people, we kind of just decided that we would split up the bathroom. He could have the master and I would have the guest and actually it's working out quite well because I'm really enjoying decorating my bathroom to have it be a really welcoming space. I realized the other day that my mood was like really low because this bathroom was just really gross looking. And I thought, well, what's, what's stopping me from fixing this bathroom up? And I was like, nothing, I just need to apply myself. So I got a couple things from TJ Maxx. I really like them, they're like decor. I got a, a shower curtain finally. So um, yeah, some things are picking up around here and I wanna show you guys something that you might not know about. So right over here this morning, there was a mirror and it's the mirror that was like installed with the house. Obviously at some point it was taken, taken off because somebody decided to paint this bathroom mustard at one point. So obviously it was taken off at some point. What I wanna show you is that those mirrors come off. Those mirrors usually have these really simple fixtures and it's literally a screw with kind of a clip that molds to the outside of that mirror. And all you have to do is unscrew that and you can pull the mirror off. So this mirror in particular had four different screw mechanisms and I just took those off and took the mirror off and here we are. And so what I'm planning to do here and a really easy way to spruce up a rental is to actually take those mirrors off so long as it's okay with your landlord, of course, and put a prettier mirror there in place. And so I have this gorgeous mirror that I got at Ross like two years ago when we first got married and what I'm going to do is paint it to match some of the decor. So I told you guys I got some stuff at TJ Maxx and Ross. Like, look at these little 
little soap dispensers for just a couple bucks. A little toothpaste makeup brush holder. I mean, that's not really what it's for, but it's what I'm using it for. What I happen to have is a mirror with a very similar pattern. And so I'm going to paint it to match this and then we're gonna get like a whole theme going and it's gonna be really nice. And so I'm excited to have a more inviting space to get ready in the morning because it really does affect my mood to get ready in like a gross place. And that mirror was just covered in gunk. And anyway, it's all cleaned up now. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like before. We're gonna paint it and eventually hang the mirror and show you guys what that looks like as well. Also on the docket today, I want to hang some floating shelves and I've got some tricks of how to do that in a really efficient way. And I wanna show you guys how to do that. Just like that. As you can see, it's already looking so much lighter and brighter in here, so I'm really happy with that. And I just wanna take a second to talk about morning mental health. Getting in a routine and getting ready in a place that's clean and organized is so good for your mental health. Something I strive to do every day is go on a walk, spend some time in prayer, and practice gratitude. Now I can add to the list, get ready in a beautiful space. All of that combined, is going to help me start off my day right. And if you guys don't have a morning routine yet, I wanna encourage you, get into a morning routine. Something, even if it's just going on a two minute walk around the block, like just something to get your blood flowing, something to practice gratitude, and something to just feel good. It's so important for mental health. Hi, are you, are you helping me? You're such a good helper. He has just wanted all of the attention today. So funny. I was on conference calls earlier and he was just all up in my business. Hi. Hi, you following me? Hello, you gonna follow me out here? Okay, cool. That is so funny. All right, party people, we're back. I have a confession to make. I accidentally painted with the wrong finish. I got the color right out of the colors that the landlord left us, but I got the finish wrong. So I have to go back and repaint, but that's fine. It didn't take very long. And you know what? Now we for sure got the area primed. You definitely cannot see that mustard color that it was before. So one more coat of this with the right finish. And I think we should be good to go. We've got the right paint now we can let that dry and in the meantime we can hang a floating shelf now i'm by no means an expert at hanging floating shelves but i have hung a lot of them i've done floating shelves for the cats i've done floating shelves for the bathrooms i've done floating shelves for bookshelves so let me show you guys how i hang these types of shelves now the shelves that I have for the bathroom have a bracket and the bracket detaches, which is a really great system because Ikea lac shelves do not have detachable brackets. They have attached brackets, which makes, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. And when we hang the cat shelves in the living room, I will show you guys what I'm talking about. Probably not gonna happen today, but let me show you guys how to hang a floating shelf that comes with a bracket. Step one, measure your area. I divided that in half and that gave me this line right here. This right here is a piece of painter's tape and it represents how long our shelf is. Right here is the center. So I've lined up the center of the shelf with the center of my space. There's my center mark, there's my center mark. Now all that's left to do is to make sure that this is level and then we can hang our bracket. So I make sure it's level in two ways. First, I level the tape, then I'll level the bracket. So we still have a ways to go, but overall this is a huge improvement and I'm really happy with it. I think I'm really gonna enjoy getting ready here in the morning. Well, hey guys, it's actually the next day because last night as we were shoveling dirt, we had a bit of a situation. At one point, Tommy turned to me and said, hey, my back is numb and it doesn't feel good, which is man speak for I'm hurting, but I really wanna keep pushing forward. To which I said, I love you, sweetheart, but we are stopping because I have learned one too many times that pushing myself beyond my body's limits when my body is saying no 
is seriously not worth it. And if that means that we are going slower on the dirt, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I want his body to be okay. And so what I said is we're going inside, I'm gonna make dinner and I'm gonna fix you up some oil. Captured this little clip just to show you guys that dilution of your essential oils is so important and it will save you so much money. And so in this clip, I'm making a blend that would address his spasming and the pain and also smell really good at the same time. It's such a great way to address pain. And so I wanted to include this clip just to show you guys how easy it can be to use oils at home. I literally made this oil to address spasming, pain, and just feel good on the skin in just a couple minutes. And within minutes, Tommy and I were both feeling a lot of relief. So all that to say, if you guys have essential oils and you're not diluting them, please dilute them because you can save so much money. And if you guys have questions about that or you'd like to join an oils class to learn more, let me know. You can email me and I will send you a link to join one of my oils classes. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me on the vlog and I will catch you on the next vlog where we address more of the bathroom and tackle more of the dirt and maybe we'll even plant some plants. Thanks so much for joining me today, you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one.